Hi there, it's Jen and it is Friday, April 12th. Welcome to my live. Thank you for joining me, whether you're watching this live or whether you're watching a replay. I am going to um, start by doing a draw. So what I do is I do a draw for um, the cards that I made last week. So last week I made these three cards. So I started with simple and then, oops, these are out of order, and then moved to um, a little more complicated and then a little more complicated still, all using Quiet Meadow stamp set, which is retiring. So if um, you commented, liked, or shared, then you're gonna be in on my draw for that. And I'm actually going to do three draws. Normally I just do one for the card I made. So this week I'm actually gonna do three draws because I made all three cards last week. So um, let me just share that. And hello to Nicole who's joining me. If um, anyone else is there right now, let me know. Or if you're watching the replay later, let me know. Okay, so let me just um, share the screen for the draw. And here we go. Like I said, if you commented, liked, or shared, you're in the draw. And oh, looks like they've changed things again on me. Here we go. Here it is. Okay, so, and as long as you're Canadian and not a demonstrator, you can win. So the first card is to Robin. So congratulations, Robin. And let's do another draw here. We'll pick another winner. Here we go. So this is all done automatically by my software. Moira, oh, Moira's a demonstrator. I'm sorry, Moira, we're gonna pick another winner. Let's see here. So again, if, as long as you're Canadian and not a demonstrator, uh, Jose is also a demonstrator. Um, I love that my demonstrators are commenting. Let's see here. Let's try again. Tina Earl. Tina, I'm not sure if you're Canadian, Tina, but I will check it out. I'll message you and let you know. Okay, and then our last card here. We'll pick another winner. Here we go. And Annie. Congratulations and thank you everyone for like, commenting, and sharing on that um, post. So I, I'm going to jump right over to the craft table right now. Hello, Eileen, and hello, Paulette. Um, hello, um, hello, Paulette Halby Demo from Burlington. Yes, I'm so happy to have you on my team, Paulette. Um, I have something going across the screen, so I just wanted to point it out. I just got this in the mail. It is, um, well, I got a box of them last week, but I got the one that's officially uh, sent to a demonstrator. I can't open it. <laughs> I wanted to open it, show it to you, um, but we're not allowed to until it goes live on May the 1st. So if you don't have a demonstrator, um, or have, or I'm your demonstrator and you haven't requested a catalog from me, then just go to this little um, website here, tinyurl.com 2425 catalog, or you can leave a message here and I'll happily get those in the mail to you because I have a box of them. The people that have already requested them, they're already on the way. Um, so um, just watch for those, okay? So I just wanted to say that first. Hello to Marina and Barb. Okay, so let me pull this um, aside and let me show you what I'm going to do today. So the first thing I want to show you is I'm using two different die sets. This is the deckled circles, complete with dimensional backing, and the deckled rectangles. Now, if you get your catalog, you will notice that neither one of those are in the catalog, but they're not on the retiring list either. That means that they will still be available, but they'll just show on online only. Um, that is the case for a few different things with um, the new catalog. So the good thing is they're still available. Um, I mean, they're still available now anyways, um, but they will still be available in the new catalog. These are actually showing as low inventory right now. It means they'll come back, but if you want them right away, don't wait, okay? The deckled circles and deckled rectangle dies. Okay, and then another thing I'm going to use is also from the online section, um, so you won't see this in any catalog. It is called the Meandering Meadow Designer Series Paper, and it is so beautiful. I've had this sitting here for a while wanting to use it with you guys, so I'm going to use it today. Um, so it comes in a pack. This is... This is the full pack. It's got four of each design. So I've got just one of each design pulled out here to show you. And it's just so pretty. It looks like a painting to me. So I'm just going to flip through each of the designs to show you. And then I'll flip through the back sides too. So these are one of those papers that are just so pretty. Um, you almost don't want to cut them <laughs> or use them because they're just so pretty as they are. So I've got a card design for you that really kind of shows off this pretty design and um, makes the most use out of this paper. So I'll show you. Look at that. Beautiful daisies, little brook, 
this is the one I'm going to use actually today. I've already got a cut, so okay. Um, beautiful. And this is just the one side. On the other side, you've got some gorgeous patterns that would be perfect for card making. Look at that. Just stunning. Love all the colors, which I'll read to you in a second. And see, even though there's, there's even though there's a lot of flowers and scenery, there's a lot of nice neutrals too, which are great again for card making. Okay, so colors are balmy blue, basic black, blueberry bushel, cherry cobbler, crushed curry, fresh freesia, garden green, granny apple green, highland heather, lemon lime twist, melon mambo, night baby, orchid oasis, pecan pie, petal pink, pumpkin pie, and shaded spruce. Lots of colors in there. <laughs> so isn't that gorgeous DSP, uh, Nicole says. All right, so what I did was I took one of these pieces of paper and here I'll show you the right line here. I did pull it out and then I stopped. Here we go. This one. I have a few samples to show you so that I've done. So, um, but I want to show you this one here. Um, so what I did was I cut it down. You can see here where I've cut it. So it's I cut it down to um, basically the the size it would fit on a card. So I've taken my piece of cardstock. It was an eight and a half by eleven. I cut it in half longwise. This is what I call hot dog. And I'm going to fold this. So just lining up the edges. And like that. So I cut this so it's going to be fit on here like this. So let's start with that. Oops, did I, did I make that not quite perfect here? Let's fix that. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to add some tape. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that yet. What am I doing? <laughs> um, okay, so it's going to be like this. That's going to be the front. But we're So it's going to take um, most of the, the card front and show off the design, but we're going to do something to it. So I'm going to bring in my Sam the Fatten Boss machine. Here we go. Mark says lovely papers too. They really are. Man Man Meadow is the name of them. So this is my big guy here. And I'm just going to set it up here like this so you can see this. So I'm going to take this piece, which now has a little bit of sticking on it. I'm going to turn it maybe, I'm going to turn it this way so you can see it. That's better. Okay. I think I may have to turn it again to make it actually crank because this is a little wee space I work in. Okay. So then I'm going to take the dies and I'm going to take, I'm just going to make sure I got the right one here. Um, okay, so I want two that are going to nest into each other. So I think that's the two that I want. Just let me double check. Um, so what I'm doing here is I've got another little one cut here. So that one is a little bit um, smaller. So that's the one I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to center it. And I'm going to grab my removable tape. So this is on my website, Jen Recommends. And I'm going to just do this because it doesn't damage the paper. Okay. And I'm going to put this through like that. Oh, there's just enough room to make that work. We're going to move this machine out of the way. And bring this back. Hello, Vaughn. It looked like it was crooked for a minute. <laughs> it's going to scare me. Okay, so now I've got this little cutout in here. And what I did was I cut another deckled circle. So you can just see the, the deckle marks there along the edges. Um, and this piece is going to fit on here. So let me show you. This card is so fast and so pretty because, again, I want the designer's paper to be the star of this show. So making sure my card is opening the right way almost messed that up and I'm going to put tape here on the card instead of trying to get it around the edges there. Make sure this is going the right way and here we go. I'll remove the hair. It might actually be human as opposed to the pet one. Oh, this is going down crooked. I normally have things a lot closer to me but when I do the videos they got to be a little further up so you guys can see them. Okay. 
I promise this is usually easy. Um, maybe I'll need to move it down further so I can see. Let's start with the bottom. There we go. Okay, so that's the step one. Okay, and then I'm going to attach this piece to this piece. So I just, this was one rectangle size bigger than the little cutout I did. And then this is going to lay on here like this. So now we've got the same sort of image as we did before, but we have a nice little mat and it won't just take away from the image. It'll just add to it. So I've got dimensionals here. And we'll pull that off. And, oh, stick this on here. So you can still see the scene that's happening. It's just even more pretty now. So pretty. Now, of course, we want to add some sort of reading. Hello to Grace as well from Kitchener. So what I did was I cut out a couple of um, little circles. So I love the deckled circles because you, can, you pretty much can match your greeting to any size you want. So I cut out a couple and I have a stamp set to show you, but now it's hiding. Here we go. This is a sneak peek. You ready? <laughs> this is something new from the uh, catalog. It's called Simply Said and from the new annual catalog that I showed at the beginning. And it's got these all these great sayings. Let's celebrate, think of you, happy birthday, uh, thanks, birthday wishes, just a note, hello, miss you, thank you, and yay. So it's a really great snap set to have a nice variety of greetings. And they're a nice size too. So I'm going to use, now this is Melon Mambo that I used, uh, but I'm going to pick up the Mossy Meadow that is in the paper as well. And I'm going to use one of these circles. And I'm going to use just a note because that is a great reading to put on a card because it kind of does all sorts of things, right? Is it just a note thinking of you, just a note, happy birthday, just a note, say thank you, whatever. So I'm going to do that. And then I can decide where I want to put that. I think I'm going to put it, I don't want to cover up too much of that pink. I think I'm going to put it right down there. And I'm going to... Uh, now, this part's already raised on dimensionals, so that part I just need tape, and then I need one dimensional down here. So I'm just going to put one right there, and then stick this on here, and voila! Isn't that awesome? Josie says, great layout. It is a really great layout. I, I agree, and it's so simple. And I've got a couple variations that I want to show you, but of course, first I want to add some bling to it, so hold on a second. I'm just putting away this deckled rectangle so I don't lose it. Plus, I want to show you something with that. So my bling is here. What I'm going to use today are the brushed brass butterflies. So they come looking like this, um, and then you can use those up. So I'm going to put a couple on here. Let's see here. Let's do a small one and a big one. Make it turn that way, and then we'll do one more small one over on that side. So let me hold that up so you can see it. So very pretty. They're kind of sparkly. Very nice. Vaughn says she loves how simple it is. I know. Isn't it great? Now, so let me show you a couple variations. Okay, so for this one, um, what I did was I cut the frame out with the deckled rectangle. This biggest one here will cut that out. So instead of just going cutting the paper, um, right to the end. I actually cut out these two <laughs> with the deckled rectangle. Um, let me see. No, sorry. I cut the frame straight and then this one with the deckled rectangle. And then this is a deckled rectangle, deckled rectangle, and then the same idea, just a note um, there. And I fit, matched the blueberry bushel to there. So also very pretty. And just put this on the other side, obviously. Okay, so let me show you another one. So here's another one. So I did the same thing. I cut the frame a little bit bigger this time, so it almost goes right to the white edge. And I did two different colors on this one. So I did Fresh Fuchsia here and Highland Heather here because there's kind of pinks and purples in here. And then the greeting, which is also from the stamp set, is um, Fresh Fuchsia, Highland Heather, and Highland Heather stamped off. And then just one little tiny butterfly. So thanks, thanks, thanks. I love the purple one, but you know, I love purple anyways. So that was just going to be a total win. And I have another one, but I need a sip of water. Hold on. What paper did you use? This paper right here is called Meandering Meadows. 
So when I'm all done, it's on the online exclusives. It's not in the catalogs, but it's available. So when I'm all done here, go back and have a look at the beginning of the video because I went through all the patterns and stuff. Oh, I've got two more to show you actually. Okay, so here's another one. Um, same idea with, uh, this is now Poppy Parade, which is one of the retiring in colors. And so same idea, I used a straight edge here, a deckled edge, a straight edge, a deckled edge. So you can mix it up. And then I did Birthday Wishes, which is also from the stamp set. And I did three butterflies. So they're all just gorgeous. I think they're stunning. Okay, so now the last one is just a little bit different. Um, so the last one, I did the deckled edge, but no mat. And then I did a straight mat and one deckled edge here. So I just cut the deckled edge out of this piece and then did a straight edge. And then I've added some twine here to the side. So it's, it looks like that on the inside. And instead of a round circle, I just took one of my scraps of uh, white. And this thanks is also from that same stamp set, which where do I put it? Over here, somebody said. This is a new one that's coming up in the next annual catalog. So all these greetings are all from there. Um, and so I like this one too, because it's a little simpler and it's very pretty as well. Um, so there you go. So tell me what is your favorite blueberry bushel, the melon mumbo one that I just made, the poppy parade one, the purpley one, or the pale yellow, which is actually called them in lolly, which is your favorite. Do you have a favorite? And then don't forget to put your name in by commenting, liking, and sharing, and that'll automatically get your name in for my draw next week where I will draw for that card there. Shared. Uh, Grace says she likes the blueberry one. Yeah, it's pretty stunning. Eh? Those flowers are pretty gorgeous. And you know, depending on how you decide to um, crop that paper, um, you can really focus, like if you look at this pattern, for example, um, this one here, you could really focus on just the flowers, or you can sort of get a little bit of the flowers in the scene. And then, of course, you have, um, here's a piece I've cut out from the blue, so you've got all that beautiful pieces left over that you can use for something else, so you want to keep all that, too. Um, yeah, so depending on how you do it. Nicole says she likes the purple one or the pale yellow one. Uh, Eileen says the lemon lolly. Um... Barb loves the melon mambo one that I just did. So yeah, you see it's all over. Uh, are the little butterflies still available? Yes, they are. The brushed, um, brushed, brass, brushed brass butterflies. Hard to say. Um, yes, they are still available. Um, so super cute. And uh, this, again, just like the cards I made last week, would be a wonderful gift set, right? You could put a bunch of these, a bunch of different sayings, like I've done here. I've got a thanks, just a note, a happy birthday. Um, those would be nice as a gift set together. So um, let's see. Um, this paper was featured in last month's Paper Pumpkin. Yes, I think, it, I don't know if it was exactly the same. Nicole, maybe let me know, because I didn't get last month, um, just because I knew I was going to be busy when I was um, recovering from my operation. Um, was it exactly the same? I wasn't sure if it was exactly the same. Uh, they're all great about it. I love the blueberry one, Marg says. Poppy Parade one. So we're all over the place. Um, but all the cards are stunning, Paulette says. I love that Paulette says XXX after all her things. That's cute. Um, okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching and participating. And like I said, if you're watching the replay later, please feel free to, to let me know what was your favorite. And um, thank you for joining me today. And I will see you all again next week. Um, no, I was going to say there's an issue with uh, streaming and StreamYard and Facebook, but it, it applies only to groups. So we'll be fine. I'll still be able to stream to both YouTube and live and um, Facebook at the same time. So catch me wherever you normally catch me and I'll be there. Okay. Take care. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.